we use microbials as a central sensing unit in a biosensor platform. And to be more precise is we are enclosing bacteria in a material and then use this as kind of a test strip for all kind of different substances. In this project we um, want to develop um, vaccines together with uh, niche competitors to get rid of pathogens and antimicrobial resistance carrying bacteria in the gut. By the end of this project we hope to have a working salmonella vaccine which works in prophylaxis of salmonella infection in pigs and that we can test in a large scale pig trial. Microbials have a huge potential as therapeutic agents. They can be seen as a very old and very new modality to treat diseases. Now we at T3 Pharma engineer live bacteria for cancer therapy. The result of our product project is a medicinal product with the ambition clearly to bring that to patients. Wastewater treatment is expensive. And besides the initial cost you have to set up your treatment facility, you also have high running costs in energy. Microorganisms hold the potential to cut those costs because microorganisms can exploit the energy from within the wastewater instead of using external energy sources to run the treatment facility. With the support of the Gebert Rüsch Stiftung, we were able to speed up the development of our biosensor platform and we were able to bring it to a point where we can produce our living material on a small industrial scale. And I think the other thing that's very important for this scheme is that it has supported young researchers at times when actually a lot of other grants are not available to them. So for me, I was able to apply for this funding before I actually had a, a comfortable professorship to go into.